Good morning. Welcome to D Living. I'm Kimberly Whitman. And I'm Hillary Kennedy. You know, it was a night to remember at the Oscars last evening, right? There were some high scores for some of the stars. Well, Others may have made some pretty giant missteps. <laughs> and uh, Stephanie Quadri, D Magazine stylist and America's sassiest lifestyle guru, Steve Kimball. They're here to talk about the award winning night with us. Welcome to the show, guys. Thanks. Hooray for Hollywood. That's yes. right. Wasn't that a great night? I don't know. Did you think so? <laughs> I, you know what? I'm a big Seth MacFarlane fan, but I think that maybe he was like in the wrong place, if you will. Yes. That's, not, that's not his role, I'm do you think? Big, I'm a big fan of his too. I think that one thing that he did, well he does look exactly like Peter Brady. Let's yeah. really. <laughs> oh he does, holy cow. Doesn't he? For a second year. <laughs> he does. So he did bring that sort of nostalgic charm to it that right. I liked and it did feel a little bit old Hollywood. But you know, I, I felt that what he did bring was that he seemed a little bit like he was feeling guilty yes. when he um, was making a joke that was maybe a little bit mean-spirited. Yeah, so that right. sort of made me feel better. I was like, at least he feels a little bit bad exactly. about it, I think. But I was thinking, too, when I was watching him, I was like, okay, if this whole show is going to be a music theme, why didn't they just have Neil Patrick Harris MC the thing? That's a very good I mean, he would have been fabulous, yeah, right? Yeah, no, I agree. I, I, agree. I, I thought, oh, come on. Yeah. No, I'm but with you. all in all, I thought it was a good good show. A little long. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it kept me entertained. They're always a little bit long, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Sonny, I don't know about you, but I'm I'm actually not a Seth MacFarlane fan at all. And I was very pleasantly surprised. I liked him. Oh, I thought yeah. he did a nice yeah. job. My he's favorite pleasant. part he's is pleasant. now that they're doing the Jaws music for people if they talk too yes. long. I thought that was fast. <laughs> right. yeah, I thought that was a little bit insensitive. I, have to I, be honest. Love, I love it. I, I felt like because this is a huge moment for these people, right? Yes. And um, and to play that music, I thought was a little bit like to go back and watch the video and have the dun dun. dun, dun. dun. And that one, remember the one that got so loud and loud and loud? I thought, oh, that poor guy. The classical music that they used to do was maybe a little bit more. Respectful. 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 Good work. Respectful. Okay. Good we'll work. We'll use that one. <laughs> okay, so can we get to the fashion? Yes. Yeah. Oh my Talk gosh, yes. For sure. Here's the highlight of So we're going to start with you. Let's talk about what you thought worked and what didn't. Well, I thought th there were certainly some trends that we saw predominantly on the runway, like metallics, which mm -hmm. I thought those were beautiful. Um, Steve and I were speaking earlier about how there was kind of a lack of color, but yeah, there's I, no, I didn't, there was no, I didn't really Because the Golden Globes it. was like Skittles. Well, so lack of yeah. color, like Jennifer Lawrence is a but, good example. She yeah. had a beautiful, it was Dior, right? It, it was a beautiful Dior. Dior gown on, but not the most colorful. Right, well, it was a, a shade of pale pink, so mm -hmm. there's a lot of pales and whites, and um, I know she's the new black, black right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> there's Jennifer I, Lawrence. Oh, yeah. no, Oh, she's gonna fall. Of course, I love oh, weddings. Oh, I love oh run away, bra <laughs> down. Right. I thought it, I, I loved her right. fashion, and I thought she was perfection, and I thought I, it was great for her age. And it was very bridal. Right. I agree. It was very bridal. And did That's you hear that she had them yesterday afternoon cut six yards off the train? You're kidding no, me. No, they cut six well, yards off the her. train yesterday. It was the right decision. But I loved when she right. talked about falling because they asked her in that one interview. They said, you know. What happened when you were going up the steps? And uh -huh. she said, What do you mean what happened? I, I fell. fell. Yeah. And then the guy's like, Well, what were you feeling? And she said, I can't tell you the word I used when I fell, but it started with an F. That's what she said. Well, Good answer. Another person, another person who wore blush maybe less successfully was Anne Hathaway. There's yes. a lot of debate over whether it, this was a winner or a loser. Frankly, I think uh, it was a disaster. A I don't disaster. think the necklace worked with the uh -uh. neckline. And, Stephanie, and you're the expert. What did you think? No, I thought the back of the dress back, from the back, the back that looked, yeah. so much better than the front. The front was just well, and not talk, flattering. I think it and looks it, like obviously, a it looked like a bridesmaid's like, dress. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Like, yeah. And, and talking about the controversy, three hours before the show, yeah. the House of Valentino sends out an email saying Anne Hathaway is wearing Valentino on the red carpet. She gets out of the car. She's got Prada. Now, I don't know if it, I don't know, maybe that Rachel Zoe, you know, that's her stylist, and she can be, that woman eats bullets for breakfast. Yeah. She might have got on the phone with that Valentino and said, this hemline's wrong. Well, I know, who, who knows? But I think last minute something happened. I do too. Yeah. Yeah. I do too. Yeah, it, it, she was very, very calm mm -hmm. last night. I don't know what was going on, because she usually has a lot of spunk to her, and mm -hmm. last night she was like super zen. Yeah, and I was afraid she was going to fall asleep on uh, yeah. her speech. It was a she bit. She was very subdued. Well, yeah. and this morning we were reading that people are calling it 
Lay Nipperob. No. <laughs> so, I mean. Uh, the darts the in the fun. dress. Those yes, darts in the dress were like. Followers, it was just too much. Her dress. Her dress. Oh, no, no. Twitter, yes. yeah, Twitter account, yeah. Facebook, everything. Yeah. Let's talk about wow. Reese because yeah. I think she can do no wrong. Oh, Again, a lot hair. of people thought that mm. she looked like she was wearing a bridesmaid's dress, but I thought it was perfect. She just had a baby, you guys. I know. Look at that. I mean, she looks incredible. The color's beautiful. I just thought maybe the top part kind of did this weird squishing thing to it. Her. did. Yeah. That's it did. all. But, but the hair, the I, hair is yeah. perfection. I mean, she Look at that hair. Beautiful. The hair is really mm -hmm. she, she credited the hair to her pregnancy, so I'm looking right. forward to the day that mine comes out shiny and shiny and thick like oh, okay. that. <laughs> she did credit to the pregnancy. That's and good. Jessica St Chastain, yes. Jessica mm -hmm. Chastain looked amazing. She called it a happy birthday, Mr. President dress. Exactly. I think she should have put some of her hair in the front, like mm -hmm. Reese had. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But otherwise, I thought it was fabulous. I what agree. did you guys think? I thought she had cut her hair at first because I couldn't see mm -hmm. that it was so long and flowing right. in Stephanie the has some thoughts on the dress. I, I agree with you when you were saying, talking well, about the front of it. I just say it's really beautiful. I think that color's really hard because as you can see, it kind of creases oddly in the yes. front and it's almost like you can see her undergarments. Yes. Yeah. That's, You're right. But the top part fits really great, which a lot of people had issues with the um, upper Part yes. of their dress. So, yeah. so that, what was that about? I don't know. I don't know. know. I don't know. Another sort of hit or miss dress with very mixed reviews is Halle Berry's. Um, Hillary. So Kimberly and I talked about this really briefly this morning, and we both felt like it was a little 80s with the shoulder. I mean, a lot of people loved it and have raved about it. It did not do anything for me. It was at all. very Bond girl. Yes. Appropriate yeah. for the 50th, you know, so, anniversary of Bond. Look at her figure. Oh, I mean, she looks incredible. She I think yeah. she looks oh, great. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I know the shoulder pads are a bit much, but honestly, she looks beautiful. And, and she looked body. comfortable. She keeps she it right and tight. I'll tell you yeah. that much. I love the metallic. <laughs> she, yeah. Yeah. We did, see, we, but we did see the trend of metallics right. too. Yeah. So yeah. let's let's talk about some other misses though. One for me was Melissa McCarthy, who oh. I adore oh, and I love. But there were women who are. Of a larger size, mm -hmm. like Octavia Spencer right. and Adele, who I beautiful. thought looked spot on wonderful. But look right. at this, it's just, I can't believe that she doesn't have anybody on her team that would say, this is just ill fitting. I don't like the color. It just, it doesn't flatter the right parts of her body. I agree. I just thought, and I love her. Because she's a gorgeous lady. Stephanie, what should she have done? Um, well, the, the dress hat, it just kind of emphasized the. The, the wrong part. Wrong yeah. part. So, and the, and the color, like Steve said, I mean, it looks like she's wearing a garbage bag. Yeah. yeah. With Just some rhinestones. In a windstorm. And it kind <laughs> of a garbage bag in a windstorm. Her, <laughs> cut off her arms. I am just, I would, just the whole thing. Just yeah. More but simple she, on like the, the excess, the, the rhinestones on the arms and stuff, yeah, just, and just a little bit more flattering. But cut. she and Paul Rudd were the best presenters. Oh, I yeah, just right. love yeah. Yeah. And, the, and to Melissa McCarthy's credit, she does have the number one movie in the country. That's good Identity for her. That's yeah. right. Love her. Can't yeah, take so, that yeah, we love her. Well, thank we love you guys her. so much for being yeah. here. Yeah. I love your perspective. Very well, nice. we have to say, too, we oh, yeah. love that Charlize Theron. Charlize Theron and Naomi oh, Watts. Yes. Naomi Watts yes. was my oh, absolute her. favorite. We yes. can talk about just, this all day yes, long. Yes, we can. And yes. her dance. Her dance. Oh, she yeah. can dance. She's oh. a ballet dancer. She can do everything. She's fabulous. This could go on for us. She can do everything.